Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Pixel Mode. And today's episode of Pixel Mode, we are going into Ultra Space, which is a brand new dimension with a bunch of crazy things. So if you guys do enjoy the episode, be sure to hit it with a like, comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, subscribe if you guys are new, because we upload videos like this all the time. But other than that, let's just hop straight into it. So starting off our episode here at the Team Secret Tower, we have a bunch of you guys around the server right now. It's kind of crazy. I can't battle any of you guys right now, because I'm recording an episode. But here, this is the team. What is that guy doing with his Charizard? Oh my, what is going on here? Okay, I guess he just evolved him or something. I don't know. But we have the Team Secret Tower, guys. I've been very, very busy, so I haven't I managed to finish this yet. But I think a few of my friends have. So Zap and Noodle, I went ahead and invited two Team Secret here. Let me quickly, let me go ahead and make it daytime for you guys here. But yeah, Noodle and Zap, I've recruited two Team Secret. They're two mods of mine. And basically, it looks like Noodle is going ahead and making a brand new tower here, which in my opinion looks pretty epic. And I think that Zap has started on the interior of this. Yeah, so he's gone ahead and started on the interior here. Right now we have no decoration, but I'm sure there'll be some decoration by next episode and stuff. And yeah, he's done like a little staircase here and stuff. I, I don't know. I think this whole place is coming along pretty nicely. We still have our x-ray. So what is that? Oh, it's just an uncommon boss. We don't want any of that. But yeah, overall around spawn, you guys have been going crazy here. We have a bunch more builds and the further I fly out, the more there are. Honestly, it just gets crazy and crazy. We have Dr. Doofenshmirtz Tower. <laughs> Who made Dr. Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated? <laughs> oh my goodness. And we even have a bunch more things as we come around here and stuff. Somebody's made a really cool pathway area here and I don't know. There's just a lot of things. A lot of things you guys have been up to around this area and I can't wait to see how it all turns out. But yeah, again, if you guys ever do have any ideas for what I should add here, guys, I know I need to add the swimming pool. I will add it soon. Don't you worry. We have a space for the swimming pool right here maybe. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas for what I should add to around this area, then just let me know in the comment down below and I'll go ahead and look through them. See if there's any cool ideas from you guys or even any ideas for what we should add on the inside. I'm open to them. But the first thing for today's episode, what we're actually going to be working on is our Mew. So you guys remember I caught a Mew a little while back, right? Well, his moves are actually pretty bad from what I've been told. Apparently, these moves are pretty bad. So what we're gonna go ahead and do in the beginning part of today's episode is we're gonna go ahead and, you know, level him up a bit and get a few brand new moves, which should be pretty overpowered. Okay, so the one move I think think we're going to be keeping here is Mega Punch, maybe? No, I don't even think we're going to keep that. I think we're literally swapping out all of these moves. So the moves we're going to be adding now are Walk Up, Giga Drain, Drain Punch, and Earthquake. Apparently those are the best moves to teach to your Mew. So if I go over to my old home back here, I think I have a few of them in these chests. So here, let's have a let's have a look at my TMs, because I do have a bunch of TMs. So, wait, a Drain Punch, is that, that? That is the first one we need. There we go. Okay, so Drain Punch. Do we have any of the others? So we need Giga Drain, Walk Up, or Earthquake. Giga drain work oh work up there we go wait there's another drain here what was this mega drain no we need giga drain no it doesn't look like we have any of the others but no fear because there is actually another way we can get them but here let's go ahead and teach these ones to our mew for now so here mr mew 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 come here oh did i just accidentally battle an ekans i'm sorry okay ekans get out of here real fast i need to teach my mew some new abilities drop all of that um uh, but mew here we're gonna go ahead and teach you to start off with a drain punch oh okay so that's a fighting type move that's actually really good. We're going to replace that with pound. There we go. And then we're going to teach walk up and replace that with transform. Okay, so that's our first two new moves on the Mew. And I think we can get this. Uh, we have a we have a rare boss right here. Let me go ahead and take you out there, mister. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Taking out a rare, rare boss real fast. Oh no. Our, our Charizard is very low. Hopefully hopefully we can take this guy out. Oh no. We just got one shot by a tiny little dragon. Oh no. Okay. Um. Uh, hey, let's go with Octaria because I think it might be fire type. Um. Hydro pump maybe. Okay, we avoided it. And one shot with hydro pump. There there we go. That's what happens when water meets fire. Um, okay, we didn't really get anything. I'll drop everything else. Star piece looks kind of cool. We also have another boss right here. What is going on right now? Okay, so now that we're all healed up, let's go ahead and take take this guy out as well. What is going on? Seriously, we're finding all the bosses right now. No thanks to my little X-ray. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we'll take the Gracium and the Red Candy, and we'll drop the rest. Let's go ahead and actually go to Warp Nexus because for those of you who didn't know, you guys can actually make your own custom shops and stuff. And there's like little teleporters around here to everyone's shops. So we are looking for a TM shop somewhere. Oh, okay, so we have Flora TMs, Mythical Mall. I, th I think Flora TMs is actually probably what we're looking for. It's 96% stocked, so we should be able to find what we need here. Where is it? Oh, it's like a nice little mushroom. This is actually a super, super cool build. I, I like this area. I like this area. Okay, so guys, remember, we're looking for Giga Drain and Earthquake. So if they have that here, then we 
should be pretty much set. My inventory is very full of all of your guys' mail. I, I, I like to keep you guys' mail because I like to read through it, but we have to get rid of some things here. So let's go ahead and get rid of our... What is the difference between these two god swords? I guess this one's red, so I'll get rid of the blue one. I don't really need a blue one. We can get rid of the grass gem. That should be good. Uh, but let's see. Around. Oh, okay, hello, buddy. Uh, so we're looking for earthquake. Okay, so we're looking for Geiger Drain and earthquake. Let's have a look around here. Earthquake. Okay, earthquake right here. Let me go ahead and buy that. There we go. Easy peasy. Look at that. Where? Where is it? Okay, it's right here. I thought I thought it wasn't in my inventory for a second. Okay, now we just need Geiger Drain. Now, do you have Geiger Drain? You have Drain Punch. Not needing that. Geiger Drain. Geiger Drain. Geiger Drain. Geiger Drain. Geiger Drain. There we go. Easy peasy. Geiger Drain. Let me go ahead and buy that. The amount of times I've said Geiger Drain, it gets gets very repetitive. But hey, now if I teach these to my, my Mew, these should be the best moves that a Mew could possibly get. So we're gonna get rid of Mega Punch because we already have Drain Punch. Place that with Geiger Drain, and then last but not least, add Earthquake on there and replace that with Psychic. And this should actually be the best move set that you can teach to a Mew. Check it out, check it out. So we have Drain Punch, World Cup, Geiger Drain, and Earthquake. And once this Mew is level 100, it should be able to defeat whatever we throw at it. Okay, so for the next part of this episode, I actually need to find something called Safety Goggles, because apparently when we go to Ultra Space, these things actually really help out. And also, I've been thinking for a while, should we replace Octillerion team? Apparently, Octillery is a really weak water type to a Pokemon. I don't know. I think Octillery is pretty cool, but you guys let me know what, you what I should do. If I should keep Octillery or replace it with something, if you guys think I should replace it with something, let me know what water type I should replace it with. But yeah, now we need to go ahead and try and find ourselves some safety goggles. I don't think I actually have any in my chest. This is what we're looking for, these little things. So it's like green and pink. I don't think I can see any in here. I have wise glasses. That's not really what I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna see if somebody has any safety goggles. Does anyone have some safety goggles I can borrow? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If anybody has some safety goggles that I can borrow in the chat. I do. Derpy death. Okay. TPA underscore derpy death. Let's go ahead and TPA over to him. Let's see, see if he has these safety goggles for us. Okay. Okay. Hey, derpy death coming in clutch with the safety. What is this? This is massive. This is like a huge item frame. I like it. But thank you for coming in clutch with the safety goggles. I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and put these on our head. And um, they sh I think they work. I th I th they should work just like that when, when they're on our head. They should be able to help us out once we get into the ultra dimension. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will I will go ahead and, you know, return these to you straight after I'm done with them, Derpy Death. Straight after I'm done with them. Okay, hey, let's head back home. And now we actually got to start the search for an ultra space portal. Now, I found an ultra space portal a while back, back in my very first episode of Pixel 1 ever. And I was very confused by what it was. So we're going to go ahead and start searching for one. And I'll see if we can find one. Hopefully, I don't know. We might be able to find one. If not, we might have to ask somebody to use one of that ultra beasts to spawn one in for us. But I'm going to try my best to try and find one myself. Okay, guys, so I wasn't even traveling that far. You guys can see that my portal or my little town is literally just behind me and the, our little x-ray hack has led us straight to a portal up here. So I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and equip our elytra and fly on through this here. Let me, let me line up. Oh, did it? Okay, I thought it just disappeared for a second. That scared me. Okay, okay. I think if we line up our shot here. Oh no, I was a little bit low. Okay, okay. We gotta line up our shot here and we should be able to fly through into ultra space. Um, um, are we good? Are we good? Oh no. Oh, Oh, wh where's the land? I need, I need to land. I need to land. Um, okay. Is that the void right there? I think that is the void. So as you guys can see, it's super, super hard to see anything. But if we go ahead and put on our safety glasses. Oh, it's changing color. It's changing color. It looks like it's clearing up. This is definitely clearing up. I feel like I can see so much more now. Is it clearing up or is it just staying like that? I think, I think we are good now. I think we should be able to see a little bit more now. I'm not too certain. I need to get myself some fireworks though. Actually, wait, for some reason, I'm kind of just floating. I have like low gravity or something? What is this? You guys see this, right? I feel like I'm in space right now with all this low gravity. This is kind of crazy. But as you guys can see around, there's a lot of pokey loot tier 4. And since we're using our x-ray here, we can find it pretty easily. So hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and fly up here real fast since we can. You know, why not, right? And wait, hold on, hold on here. Let me let me turn off this so you guys can actually see it. Okay, so there we go. It's off. This is actually the ultra I, I think it's a beast chest or something. But I'm pretty sure these are like super, super rare over here. And these actually can contain some super good stuff. And even the ultra, I think, I think it's called the beast ball itself and that's what I want to try and get. I want to try and get myself a beast ball so we can maybe try and get an ultra beast if we get one spawning somewhere here. So here, let me see what I get. Okay, so we got poison gem for that one. There is quite a lot more around here. I saw a lot of them light up. So here, let me go ahead and turn that back on and hopefully, hopefully we can find these things. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's all showing up now. So we have, oh, we have a lot of level fours around or tier fours around. So let me go ahead and fly over to them real fast and hopefully we can get some pretty good loot. So this is like right under here. An ice gem. I want to try and get myself a beast ball. That, that's the aim right here. I, if we can get a beast ball, I 
I will be happy. So here, let's see if we can get ourselves a beast ball. That would be, that'd be pretty epic. Oh my goodness, there's so many over here. A comet shard? Oh my god, our inventory is too full. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw all of this stuff in my, in my ender chest for now, because we just have so much stuff. Here we go, okay. A big pearl? I think all of this stuff is actually meant to be really, really good. Rock gem? Water memory? What the heck is half of this stuff? You guys gotta have to tell me what some of this stuff does, because honestly, I quite frankly don't really know. A ground memory? I think there's a Pokemon or something where you can change its type depending on what one of these memories you have. So I'm not exactly sure which Pokemon that is, but I know I know there's definitely a Pokemon like that. But hey, in Ultra Space, there's some super cool things that can spawn structure-wise. Like you can have, I think, end cities, and you can also have like nether fortresses and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can find ourselves a pretty cool structure around here somewhere and explore. I love, I love the sky and stuff. How, how the atmosphere changes color. It's like rainbow. It's pretty awesome if you ask me. A ground gem. Guys, I'm just gonna cut back at this point if we find anything cool because oh my goodness, there's so much stuff around here that I could be going on for ages here. What the heck? What the heck is this place? Wait, there's like blue obsidian everywhere? Oh, okay. I thought this was gonna be like obsidian breaking, but it looks like it's not. What what the heck are these massive just balls of blue? It's a crystal? So wait, where am I? What kind of biome is this? This is a, a tiger. Wait, no, this is an ultra deep sea. Okay. Well, I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty awesome if you ask me. Look, look at these trees. They're like all made out of glass and like there's blue obsidian everywhere, but that's it's not actually obsidian. I don't even know what this is, dude. We're not actually all that far from when I just stopped recording, but look at this thing. There's an end city in the middle of a forest biome right here. Like, what the heck is this? Has it? And it looks like it hasn't actually been taken yet. So let's go ahead and loot this bad boy out. Let's go ahead and loot up an end city real fast. Oh my goodness. This should be pretty easy, I think. We can even get ourselves some shulker boxes. This is pretty epic. Oh my goodness. There's so many right here. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I need to be careful. I need to be careful going up there. Um, I wonder if there's maybe a quick way up possibly. Okay, so I think I got rid of them all. Let's see what's at the top up here. Okay, so we got two chests right here. It hasn't actually been looted. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so there's iron, custom binding. These ones actually look good. These boots look pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and take the boots. Everything else looks kind of kind of trash, to be honest. What's in this one? A bunch of iron and efficiency for unbreaking three pickaxe. I don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and help myself to all of this good stuff. We got a lot of gems from this dimension, that's for sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure the pickaxe we have right now, yeah, the pickaxe we have right now is way better than that. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. Let's see if we can find anything else up in this, in this area though, because, oh, Oh, there's more of you boys. There's more of you boys. Get on out of here. Okay, it looks like there's two, if not three, structures here. So hopefully we can find some more chests, possibly. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so there's another chest here, but it looks like this one was actually taken because it looks like it's broken there. I'm not seeing any more. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, Mr. Shulker boy. Oh boy. At least we're racking up on our Shulker shells. Hey, check it out. We have 11 right now. That's pretty, pretty epic. Okay, well I think most of this area right here is actually looted, but I see a boat on my mini map, and it should be just around here. Wait, there's no way it's this far down. There's no way it's this far down. It's probably above us somewhere, right? Oh yeah, here it is. Maybe we could get an elytra from this. I know I have one on me, but we might be able to get another one if we're lucky. Uh, let's have a little look around here, see if we can find anything. Uh, no, it actually looks like the elytra was taken and all the good loot was taken as well. That's unfortunate. Is there any dragon head on the end of the boat maybe we can grab? Nope, no dragon head. Okay, well it looks like we're gonna keep exploring this and see if we can find anything else cool because I want to try and find an ultra beast, honestly. Okay, so no way, we finally got one. I was throwing out a bunch of loot. If we go back here, you guys can see there's like loot everywhere, like from when I was just throwing it out. But we finally got ourselves actually a beast ball from one of these things and I think I think it has a pretty low chance of actually getting it. So that's pretty epic. I, I, I guess we could use this beast ball on an ultra beast if we find one. I'm not too sure how well it works if it's like a master ball or something, but if we find an ultra beast, I'm definitely throwing this bad boy at him. Okay, so I went ahead and found another end city and it looks like this one has some extra cool stuff in it. And it's Twisted Spoon, something I've never seen before. A bunch of diamonds. I guess we don't really need that because we have this. Um, and also a prison bottle. I'm not too sure what a prison bottle is. It's the first time I've actually seen something called a prison bottle, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's pretty good. But hey, let's go ahead and head on out of here. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, and I think the Ultra Beast I want to catch is a Katana, because it's a grass steel type, and we might be able to replace Celebi with it. I'm not too sure, or Celebi, whatever you guys say how it's pronounced. But I went ahead and did some research on what I should grab, and apparently these strong steel lures are pretty good, and at times a incense is good. So I went ahead and grabbed all this. So if I go ahead and use the incense, this should last for 15 minutes and increase the amount of Pokemon that start spawning around me. And then also I can go ahead and put the lore up here and that will go ahead and increase the amount of steel type Pokemon that spawn around me. Oh my goodness, do you see how many Rathatos there were right there? That was kind of crazy. But basically we're in an ultra forest right now so it should do the trick. We might have to run around for a little bit and see what happens. I should let my little x-ray thing and it should point towards a ultra beast if, if one does spawn in. So here, let's hope that a Katara does spawn in uh, and we'll just hope
hope for the best and I'll cut back if something something does spawn in. Oh, wait, okay, so uh, Ultra Beast Portal spawned in, but no Ultra Beast, unfortunately. Okay, I, I thought for a second that that was an Ultra Beast that just spawned in, but it's just a portal. Unfortunate, very unfortunate, but hey, that means that the spawn rates are working, so let's just keep running around and hoping for the best. There's also an uncommon Swad, Swad Loon right there, which I don't want to fight. I'm only looking for Ultra Beast. It's even spawning trainers and stuff, but hey, let's hope for the best and see see if what we want is actually going to spawn in here or not. Oh, a Whirlpool Shiny? Did a Shiny Pokemon just spawn in before an Ultra Beast did? Are you serious, dude? Check this guy out. He's like shiny and everything. Uh, here, taste my Ultra Ball here. Get in, get in the Ultra Ball, buddy. Get in, get in the, hello? There we go. I guess we just got a shiny while we're looking for Ultra Beast. That's pretty awesome. You need to keep an eye on the still lure though, because it might might break and then we can just replace it with this one. But here, I'll keep looking around and I'll let you guys know if anything else spawns in, which is kind of cool. Oh! Okay, it looks like it looks like one actually spawned a katar a katana. Oh my god, it's tiny. Oh my this thing is absolutely small. Oh my god. Okay, we might have to change the stats here. Um, but here, let's go ahead and throw it out there. Oh, we got a fungus as well over there. Okay, so katana. Um, I get I guess we should try getting its health down a little bit first. Okay, it looks like we can do another wing attack and it shouldn't do all that much damage. Okay, okay, that looks like it's good. And now if we go ahead and throw the beast ball, it should do the trick. I also grabbed a master ball just in case. But hey, a beast ball should do the trick here. Let's see if we can catch it in a beast ball. Come on, fingers crossed. Um, um, where, where's the ball? Where's the ball? I can't see it. I can't see it. Uh Hey, there we go. The katana has been caught. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That obviously wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. You know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Anyway, I think that is where we are going to end off today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you guys did, hit a little like, comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. In next week's episode, I have a few things planned which should be pretty fun and we are going to be taking over this Pixelmon server. So guys, remember, if you guys haven't already joined, go ahead and join play.pokelegends.net. But on that, I will see you guys all again next time. Peace. Oh,